Hey gang, this is Mike with my Real Estate Dojo. And today I wanna to teach you how to survive in a natural disaster or in wartime, okay? So you can make it. Many of us believe that Big Brother's gonna come bail us out. And if you look between Katrina, all the different hurricanes, all the disasters, you realize that you just can't call 911. No one's gonna come because they're out there taking care of their own families and you have to be strong. Many of us in America, we're so, we have so much abundance that we don't really realize that it's a doggy dog world out here. And the reason I understand this is because I'm a war baby. I was originally born in Iran and in Iran there was an eight year war with Iraq and there was always shortages of food. So if you come to my house today, my mom's a war mom. She has six months worth of food. If you go to my sister's, my mom's sister's house, she stayed in Iran much longer than we have, and she has a year worth of food in her home, okay? At any time, you could go to her house, anytime they have a year worth of food, canned food, water, and just, you could name it. But what I realized is that having all your stuff at your home is not gonna save you, dude, because if you look at Houston, if you look at Florida, sometimes we have to be able to just be able to pick our stuff up and get out. Okay, because there's, there might be war, nuclear war, there might be a natural disaster, who knows, dude. Um, so you will always have to be prepared to, in a moment's notice, like three minutes, five minutes, to take your bags and get out. So in my house, I always have two bags filled up, ready to go. This is what I call, let's say there's an mer emergency happening, and I'm not gonna have time to pack, I'm not gonna have time to get my stuff. So my stuff is already packed, ready to go, dude. Now it sounds like really crazy, but let me show you what I have in my bag because I wanna save your life because most of us think that since we live in a great country like America, you know, if a hurricane comes or a tornado comes or there's a nuclear war or whatever, that we could call 911, they're gonna come. In reality, the police and, and the emergency people should come, but they're not gonna come, dude, because they gotta take care of their own family, right? Even though we pay them as taxpayers and we want them to be there emergencies, they're not going to come, dude. The police, the firefighters are only going to be there on good times, when it's nice and pretty, when there's not major, major disaster, guys. So what I want to do is teach you guys how to be able to be prepared for your family and loved ones in America and not wait for Big Brother to save you. You can save yourself today. All right. So what I want to do is start off with some of the most important thing the very first thing is you need water and most of us don't know that water is very very heavy and if you haven't like camped out for like a week or two and you have to carry stuff with you you know that these bags become very heavy so many of us want to go out there and buy bottles of gallons of water okay um, which is okay I'm not dissing on that but if you have to travel to carry like five gallons of water man it's gonna be so heavy right so what I highly recommend what I have for myself is, this is very, very crucial, dude. You gotta have one of these in your bag, is what I call a water filter, right? So basically, I can drink any kind of water here. All right, I could go to the, to the stream, there's a stream right there, and I could get one of these can, put the contaminated water into the dirty water, whatever it is, fill it up, ocean water, fill it up, right? And then I could pour it into this little bottle thing right here, right? Assuming, and then I'll put this on here, screw it on here, and I'll squeeze it out. I can squeeze it right in my mouth, I can squeeze it into another cleaner, and this is gonna kill the, the bacteria, the fungus, and it's gonna be a lot safer. Now, there's stuff out there you could buy as pills. I just like this better because I know it's gonna last a lot longer, it's more efficient, and that, that way, I don't have to carry so much water with me because water is fucking very, very, very heavy. What I can do is just carry stuff like this right so I could filter out my water no matter where it is so let's say I'm, I'm in Florida or in Houston the hurricanes came I don't have any water I could pick up some of that ocean water run it to this get all the contaminants out and I'm not sure if it's gonna take the salt water out but if it, if it doesn't take the salt out I put it in here and I start boiling the water and put it into another container and have the precipitation go to this one and then I could drink out of this one guys okay so if I haven't tested this with the salt water so if it takes it out it may take it out but if it doesn't okay then like I said I'll do tactic two which is I'll boil the clean water and with bath salt in it and I'll let it fuse into I'll 
another container, okay? Because when you do, uh, when you boil water, you're not gonna get rid of the contaminations of like the oil, the man-made poisonous, okay? You'll get the bacteria and viruses killed, but you're not gonna get oil that's in the ocean water that's flooding the area or what have you, okay? Assuming there's a flood or a hurricane. But if you're just in the middle of nowhere and there's a stream of the dirty water, then you don't need to do the precipitation part. You could just use one of these little filters like I just showed you, right? And you and your family could have a lot of water. I bought this from REI, highly recommend it. It may be 25 bucks, guys. Do you have 25 bucks to save your family? Guys, all the stuff I'm gonna show you right now, I'm not making any fucking money out of it. I don't do any affiliate, I don't, I could do that and get paid for it, but I just don't, dude. I'm here to save your life, I wanna change your life. And as a war baby, as, as a guy that grew up as, as a kid, bombs being thrown onto you, boom, boom, and not having food and have to wait in the fucking line, I know the true reality of the world and we don't live in a concrete bubble of safety. At any time, shit can happen. War natural disaster and you got to be prepared big brother ain't gonna save you man they'll tax the shit out of you but they ain't gonna be there to save your ass man and that's the truth you got to save yourself dude and that's the true reality now some people say oh mike you're so mean it's reality man if you just go back through history you'll see what i'm talking about so let's move forward so the very first thing you need is water i highly recommend getting one of these things um, not the pill because the pill can get wet this and that get one of these things cost very little amount of money have one for each family member. That way you don't have to carry tons and tons of water. You're not gonna survive without water, dude. You can survive without food, but without water, you ain't gonna live for a very long time, dude. Especially if you're, you know, excited, you have a lot of drilling going to you, you're gonna be more thirsty than just normal living, okay guys? Uh, the second thing I wanna talk about for the water before we move on is, many of us have containers like this. And this is okay, but guys, you don't you don't you don't want to have this with you because with this you can heat it, you can drop it. I mean, you can see it's been dropped so many fucking times. You can see the inside of it. Uh, it's big. You can smash it on something. That it doesn't fuck up. So it's a multi-purpose. This thing, you get a lot of sun. You get this. It's gonna crack. So. If I was gonna survive in the wilderness, I wouldn't want a plastic one. I wouldn't want a metal one, just like this, guys. You pay a little bit more for it. The water's better. You're not gonna get the contamination of like, what is it called, BPA, whatever, and all that stuff. So go with this. You can use it for like cooking. You can use it for gathering water. You can use it for sanitation. You can warm it up. Uh, you can use it for a lot of different things. You never know what you can use it for, guys. Uh, so go with this instead of a plastic one. Now, let's talk about the food, guys, because you know, many of us know that we need to have food if something happens. But what if we have to leave our house? What are we going to do? We're going to carry our fucking cooking materials with us and all that stuff? Yes. And I'm going to show you how to do it, guys. Okay? But before I go into the food, I want to talk about two ways to have your food cook with you. This is uh, what I call my stove, guys. Is It's a little miniature stove. This is it, guys. Look at it. It's so small. This is it, right? I can carry with me anywhere. I can even put it in my fucking pocket, right? And this goes on to a gas tank like this, right? Just like this. Now, some of you, I recommend having one of these and one of these and maybe two of these canisters. But what happens if you have to be out there for a month or two weeks and your canister runs out, which is very true. This is the luxury living. So get one of these little cans. Now, many of us are going to run out there to Walmart or Target and get those cheap ones or what I call car camping materials and those are okay but you have to realize that those are too big those are car camping materials you need stuff that you can put into your bag they're small right the light and you carry with you without being so heavy okay the stuff you buy from Target and Walmart they're not good quality they're not gonna last and if your life depends on it do you want to use some shit over there I buy all my stuff at REI uh, and these are hardcore stuff this company called snowflakes the best stuff out there, guys. Uh, and it does cost money, dude. But again, I'd rather buy this shit than pay fucking cable $184 a month. I'd rather buy this shit than go buy drinks on the weekends. I'd rather have this kind of stuff than have all this fancy stuff in my house, TVs, this, that it doesn't, it's not gonna save my life. And the water comes, it's just a liability instead of an asset, dude. So 
very first thing is if you're out there you have to leave some kind of crazy things happen there's no electricity there's no water you need to be able to cook for a couple of days and I recommend one of these things see how small it is it could just go right into my pocket guys okay but what if you're out there for more than two or three days maybe you have to be out there for a couple of weeks a couple of months well this is where this um, little this one a little more guys you go to REI it's all there um, now so let's say you're out there if can you scoot back just a tad let's go you, you go out there and you have to be out there for a couple of weeks not just a couple of days well you got to run out of gas and there's no place to go to so then you have to come with the basic stuff that's why I have this this one this is another stove that I have right but this stuff does not require gas it requires natural resources so anywhere I am right anywhere I am I can use this stove because it doesn't use gas all it uses is little leaves so I can go here and take these little leaves wherever I am stick it in here you know and start a fire and start cooking with it so anything so if, if I'm in the jungles or if I'm in the mountain or if whatever I'm, I could break little things and put in here and I don't have to have a gas and I don't have to so I could be self-stained with nature in wherever I am for weeks or months, whatever, and I could cook with this. I could boil water with it. I could, it has a little top where you grill stuff with it, or whatever you want to do. Um, and you, you don't have to be dependent on man-made stuff like this, dude, because when shit hits the ceiling, you're not gonna be able to find stuff like that. Whatever you have on you, that said, once it runs out, this is gonna be useless. This other stove is gonna be useless. And so that's why I have stuff that's naturally made, like natural resources that you can find out anywhere and start cooking with it, guys. Very, very powerful. What this, is that one called? This is called BioLite. This, this little product costs 200 bucks. It is a little expensive, but again, you don't have to have a car stove. You, I put this right into my fucking backpack I carry with me. I grilled steaks with it. You know, it has a little top. <coughs> but the point of the story is, it's very, very mobile, guys, okay? Now, let's talk about food. What can you eat in situations like that, right? And you're not going to be able to take your uh, refrigerator with you or, you know, and if you're looking like right now in Houston or Florida, your car is useless. The reason is because whatever gas you have in there and whenever you run out and shit hits the ceiling, there's no more gas, dude. You, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. So having big stuff in your car is not gonna do you anything. Eventually, you gotta get on your fucking feet, and if you don't have something like this to put everything in there, you're gonna be fucked, okay? So for food, right, I have stuff like this, guys. I buy this at REI. These are organic made stuff. This is not some bullshit. This is way better than the McDonald's or the Subway or any of that kind of stuff, right? And I have these food, they're ready to go. This is Linton and rice, this one is, uh, pie and they're fucking organic food and all it requires is is you boil that water which May take two or three minutes you boil the water you put it in here and you can just start eating right out of this thing dude Okay, and it's really good. You know, it's not a five-star restaurant But if you're in the wilderness and you don't have food you think this is gourmet food, okay, uh, and they have a variety of different types um, let, let me show Wait, you. I got a question here. Jonathan is asking, how long are they good for? These things last for a long time, dude. They're dehydrated. They're, they're in the bag. You can keep them for years uh, whenever they're ready to go. Uh, now, th this is a cheaper company versus this one. This is more expensive. But, guys, all you got to do is just add water, and that is it, dude. And you're ready to go. Okay? So, I, I carry my food like this in this bag. Now, the reason, again, I carry my food like this is because... You know, if I had to cook, let's say something, I had to chop off all the stuff, all these vegetables, like my whole bag would be full of food. But I can go out there for two or three months and pack this up, just this little thing, and have food for two or three months, dude, okay? Uh, assuming that I can't hunt and I can't fish, I'm ready to go. So now we talk about the water. We talk about what kind of tools you need to cook this stuff in your bag so you don't have to have like a camper or a car, you know, because again, when gas runs out, Everything in your car is a liability now, just like it was in your house. Everything you work in your whole life for, you bought all this stuff, you made all these companies rich, when the shit hits the feelings, none of that shit's gonna help you out, dude. It's gonna be liabilities that you're worrying about. Oh my gosh, my TV, the water's coming. Oh my gosh, my clothes, my... And you're just worrying about stupid shit, 
right? Instead of saving your life, right? And so that's what I say, fuck this stupid stuff, stuff that's not gonna make you, you're gonna make yourself, and here's a couple of reasons why. So we talked about the water, we talked about the food. Um, now, let's talk about energy, guys, because wherever you go, you're gonna need energy. Like right now, I see on Facebook, people are getting like uh, those 12V batteries and trying to hook up their phone and charge it up. Um, the very first thing I, I wanna talk about is guys you got to have some of these dude you got to have this this is called goal zero um, you got to have some of these already made up in your bag fully charged when the hit when the shit hits the ground dude okay so that's the very first thing okay the, the very second thing you got to have is you know mobile solar panel guys these things are very very awesome I clip it on my fucking bag. They're durable. They're waterproof. You can drop them. I mean, man, I've, I've done all kinds of shit with them. They still work. They'll charge your phone. You just put it on the fucking sun, and then you can put your, you know, phone cord in here, USB cord. It'll charge up all your batteries. You just click a button. Voila. That's it, dude. What brand is that? Uh, again, this this is the same company called BioLite. BioLite makes pretty good products, man. If you're out there killing it, you want this. I don't buy cheap stuff, guys. Um, here's the thing, man. Cheap is expensive. And for your life, you don't want this shit cheap, man. You don't want no Walmart crap. You don't want no Target crap. You don't even want fucking shit that's okay. You want the best, dude. You, this is your life. Now, the thing is, some of you say, oh, man, I don't got the money for this shit. But you're spending money every weekend going out. You're spending money drinking. You're spending money on dumb shit, right? But you don't got money to spend on your fucking life? Come on, dude. This whole thing, everything may cost only 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks. And hopefully you'll never, ever, ever have to use it. Hopefully you never, ever, 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 ever have to use it. But what if you have to use it? Don't you want to have it? Or do you want to go to shelters and have Big Brother take care of you but they don't even have food for you? What do you want? I mean, when shit hits the ground, I'm not going to a shelter. When shit hits the ground, I'm not hanging out with other people. I'm going off grid. I'm going with people or not. Because the truth of the fact is, life is like riding a motorcycle. You don't die riding a motorcycle. You die because of other people around you. And this is the same thing. When the shit hits the ground, I'm not going to go sit around with a bunch of other people in a shelter. That's when the shit hits the ground. I'm going to get away from people because I'm going to die because of being around people. People's negligence, people's fears, or panics, all that bullshit. I'm not trying to listen to that negative. I'm going to go off grid, live by myself because I am going to be more safe around me and my family instead of hundreds of stranger people that didn't prepare. They're fucking emotional. They're fucking under stress. That's not good for me. Right? And it's not probably good for you, dude. Okay? All right. So this is good if you only have one thing, but I would highly recommend having another solar panel. Okay? This is the big one, guys. Highly recommend this. This will charge your phone in like nanoseconds compared to this one. Um, you could also create, buy one of these little batteries that you can capture this. So for example, that little battery pack that I showed you, I can put this outside, have a two or three of these, and I can hook it up to my flashlights. Uh, it doesn't have to be your phone. You can have like flashlights that suck up power. Uh, and let me give you a good example. Um, you, you're also gonna need light, okay? This light is very powerful. It's, it's solar charged. Right, I just hook it up, take this, hook it up in here, and and when you're out there in the wilderness and the shit hits the, there's the electricity's off, the grid's off, you're gonna be fucking thankful you have this little light, dude. This light is awesome. It has a magnet on it. You can put it anywhere. You could hang it. I just put it on my bag straps. It has a place for it to sit down. It has a rechargeable battery. You can a lot of stuff. I mean, this is hardcore shit. It ain't cheap stuff. It's gonna cost you a penny or two. Again, gold zero. Uh, both of these are gold zero. Great product. Uh, highly recommended because when the shit hits the ground, you're you're gonna need lights, dude. You're custom to lights. All of our life we have electricity. Imagine not having the electricity for two or three days. You're gonna shit your pants, dude. Right? So you're gonna need some kind of light, and I highly recommend this one. It's rechargeable, works great with this. Very light, very durable. Uh, can't go wrong with it. All right, let's talk about the next thing, guys. You are going to need a fucking first aid kit, man. Don't cheap yourself on a first aid kit. Now, this first aid kit looks okay, but it's waterproof. I can drop it into a water and it's gonna float, all right? No water's gonna seep in here. It has everything I need. It has things that I can sit here. It's a tough bag. It's not some shitty Walmart Target bullshit, right? Definitely need this, dude. Without this, you're fucked, dude, okay? So make sure you get that. Now, <clears throat> 
The other thing I want to talk about is that you're probably going to need a camel back. Again, water is so heavy, you don't want to be having a bunch of containers like this. You don't want to have a fucking like a gallon of water just carrying it. What you need is one of these things that slide it into your bag and that's it. And that's really all the water you would need. The rest of the water you're going to use uh, these things to get water because the water is so heavy and it takes so much room, guys. Okay. Now, we talked about the food. We talked about how to get power. Uh, a lot of people are talking right now like, hey, there's no electricity. This, dude, whenever the lights go out, I'm not even worried about it. I have my own solar panels. I have my own lights. They're rechargeable. I'm ready to go, dude. I don't need the light. I have my own light, right? And I'm trying to help you to be the light for your family, okay? Um, now, let's talk about other things, okay? Um, if, if you're just a small person, I wouldn't recommend getting a big bag like this. You know, this is like an 80 pound. It's very, very heavy. Unless you have like a family of four and you're the man, then you might want to carry this. But what I would recommend is, you know, going light. This is too heavy, okay? This is, but if I, I have two bags, one for small, one for heavy, okay? The small one is the best one. You can just get up and go. It's very light, especially if it's like windy or hurricanes or stuff like that. You want something light. You don't want something really big. And you can put all your stuff in there. What other stuff should you put in there, okay? I put in there my sleeping pad. I have my sleeping bag. Okay, on your sleeping bag, guys, make sure you get a nice bag, okay? Don't get one of these Walmart Target bags. Make sure you get a sleeping bag that costs at least two or three hundred dollars. That's waterproof. It's very important, dude. You gotta sleep out there, it's fucking raining on you. You wanna get someone that's fucking warm, right? Your clothes are all wet, you gotta get naked. Get... So you want this bag to be waterproof, dude. You, you don't want a cheap bag. That, trust me, you're cold as fuck. You don't want a cheap bag. You're wet as hell. You, you want your sleeping bag to be as expensive as, as your uh, mattress at your home, dude, because it's gonna, it's gonna save your life. Uh, we got the pad. I'm not gonna pull out my bag here. Okay. The other things you can have is just a little comfort stuff is like, you know, this pillow. Once you take the air out, you can squeeze it all. Like it has air in it right now. It becomes so small, you can fit it anywhere. Um, now, some people talk about weapons, man. Oh, man, you got to have guns. You got to have bullets. Um, if you want to, you can. You know, um, for me, I'm going to go off grid. I'm not going to be hanging around fucking people for them to try to rob me or so I'm not worried about guns and weapons but I do highly recommend you know having some kind of utility knife um, well, I have two I have the US Marine Corps I think this is called a K bar it's very nice um, and you know I spend like 100 200 bucks for that what am I gonna use this for well I'm gonna use this to chop wood to put into my fire right I might have to defend myself from something I might get a coconut I need to fucking break it or I might need to do whatever right this is where this is come. Now, people say guns, man, too much responsibility. They get wet. You got to carry this thing. You can, you can put a stick on it and you got a spear. You can sharp other tools with it. You know, um, definitely useful. You know, if you get cut, you use it as a torque. You cut your arm with. Very, very fucking useful. Highly recommend having this. Not for self-defense in a sense, but for your everyday. Because when you're out there, you're not going to have your kitchen knives. So this thing you can use as a kitchen knife. You can use it to chop off wood. You can use it to defend yourself. You can use it to whatever, guys. Okay? The other thing I want to talk about is money. Uh, when, that, when crazy shit happens, your dollar bills are going to probably get wet, blown away. You know, if you want to carry, let's say, Twenty thousand dollars. I did a video a couple of week, a couple of months ago. You saw twenty thousand. It's like so big. Where are you gonna put this? So what? What I always do is, you guys see me is I'm I'm wearing a lot of gold, right? This is my money. This is my emergency money, dude. And a lot of people don't realize is that if shit goes to hell today, right? And we're off the grid for a month, I could easily pop off my bracelet like this, right? L just l let me show you, and I could easily start bargaining with people not my whole bracelet i'll take the chain off and every one of these chains is going to be about a hundred bucks 50 bucks okay so i could just with my knife take this little piece and start bartering hey i need uh this tool here's one of these gold okay where paper money is probably going to be wet it's going to be soggy it'll, it'll, it'll tear where, where my jewelry i could put it into my bag or i could start using it as a very fine resource to trade with okay and now that's why I have the stuff always with me 
Uh, because if shit hits the hay, I'm probably not going to have time to go to the bank. If the economy collapses, the banks are going to be closed. If they're going to do uh, a bail-in where they're going to steal my money, then they're not going to give me my money. So I always want to be prepared for worst case scenario, economic collapse, hurricanes, war. If a war happens, the, you know they're not going to give me my fucking money and have in the bank, dude. So I got to have my own shit ready to go. You got to live your life like there's no banks. There's no police, there's no fucking emergency, there's no big brother, there's no one gonna come save you, dude. You gotta save yourself and your kids and your family. And you gotta have emergency funds, you gotta have emergency food, how to get your water, how to get your electricity, besides big brother, because they're not gonna be there for you. Just look at Florida, just look at, you know, they, they got their own families to take care of, man, right? They're not gonna put their stuff in harm's way to come save you, even if you pay fucking taxes. They're not gonna do that, dude, right? So you gotta save you. And the way to do that is be prepared, take some classes. Not everybody took Boy, Boy Scout. I didn't take Boy Scout. They didn't teach me this shit in college. They didn't teach me this in, in high school. I had to learn it because I realized that we don't live in a really safe environment anymore. There's war can happen. Major disaster can happen. The dollar can fucking collapse, dude. Look at Greece. Look at all these other countries, dude. Right? And shit can go wrong. And when shit goes wrong, are you prepared? And I just showed you how to be prepared. And none of my preparedness include weapons. You know, this is the only weapon I guess you could have, but this is my tool where I'm gonna cut my food, I'm gonna cut my 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 ropes with, you know, whatever I'm gonna need to tie my, this is it, dude. Not no guns, nothing like that, okay? Uh, you could also bring other stuff with you, like this stuff for cooking. Um, so whenever you wanna go shopping, let's talk about this. For stuff like that, you don't want to go to Target and Walmart, and you don't want to get car camping because there's like different levels of cam uh, camping equipment. You don't want to get car camping because car camping is big and bulky and heavy. What you want to get is called the light or the ultra light weight stuff. I would stay away from the ultra light because they're very friends. Uh, flimsy but I would go with the light because the light will all fit into your bag like, like your food like your stove like this is my stove dude this is the stove all right a car stove would be this big all right so go with the light stuff you get it from REI everything will fit into your bag have everything in, in, in your bag ready to go you should have your bag ready to go like shit can happen so if shit happens all you have to do is just run into that house if there's a fire, or something, it doesn't matter. You just grab onto your fucking bag and you know you have everything in that bag from monetary goods to food to water to light to electricity, everything, your shelter. What else do I keep in my bag, okay? I keep my ultra heavy duty tent, dude. So I can go out there and sleep anywhere, right? It's waterproof, uh, winterproof. I have padding, I have covers. So I have my, my tents in there. They're ultra light, they all fit in here. They're not bulky at all. And the other thing I want, I want to tell you guys is that whenever there's a natural disaster and if you want to get into your car and go, if you have bicycles, it's a great time to strap the bicycles on the fucking car because more than likely you're going to sit in traffic a very, very, very long time and you're going to run out of gas. So, and the best thing is to now jump off on the bicycles and start pedaling because believe it or not, when there's a lot of traffic, you're going to pass everybody and their mama in their car in your fucking bicycle. And guess what? It never runs out of gas. So when a natural disaster happens, many everybody in their mind wants to run in their car, I'm gonna get in my bike, right? Because I power it, I control it, I don't have to wait for somebody to bring me gas. So the point of the story is, when the shit breaks to hell, you have to be strong. If you have anything that depends on someone else, you ain't gonna make it, dude. If you're depending for somebody to save you, you ain't gonna make it. If you're depending on somebody to give you gas, you ain't gonna make it. If you depend on somebody to give you food, you ain't gonna make it. If you're depending on anybody, you're fucked. And if you wanna be free, you have to depend on yourself. And that's why I'm doing this video so everybody in America is packed up. I'm not saying shit is gonna happen. I'm not a fear monger. But hey, I'm a war bait. I lived in Iran, there was an 80 year war, and I know what food shortages is. I know what it is to have a coupon and go wait in lines hours and hours and hours to get one pound of fucking chicken, dude. And you got a fucking family of 12 you gotta feed. It ain't gonna work, dude. So, and I learned that from my mom that lived in the country, and if you go to my parents' house at any time, any part of the world, they always have six months worth of food. If you go to my mom's sister's house, 
They were there even longer in Iran the war. They have a year worth of food. A year, man. Can you imagine a year's worth of food? You go in their garage, there's a bunch of food. But the problem is that if something crazy happens, like something, they have to leave their house. They're not gonna, they, they haven't planned to carry their food with them. And what I realized is that the most important thing is to have your stuff packed here and have stuff at your house in case you have to evacuate your house, dude. And if you have all your food and water in your house, but you don't have nothing packed to go with it, then you're probably going to starve, dude, right? But if you have everything ready to go, you could be mobile. And the most advantage a human being has is to be mobile, right? We're able to move. We're not like trees that we have to stand there and get broken in the hurricane. We could move. And the more mobile we are, the more power we have, dude, okay? And if we have everything on our backs, we're more mobile like nomads, then our likelihood of survival is much greater than if we stay stationary and we're just worried about our stuff. My TV, water's coming, oh my God, my couches, oh! And we're not really caring about our own life. We don't have no water, no food filtering system, none of that shit, right? All right, did I leave anything else out, Soraya? Do you wanna talk about that Appalachian Trail, the AT Trail? Oh yeah, very good. If you guys buy this stuff, I would highly recommend going on some of these big trails like Appalachian Trail or PT Trail. They're like, you know, from one state to like 12 states. And you get to actually walk for weeks and months into nothingness and learn how to use these tools. That's the way I learned it, right? Uh, my parents are refugees, never took me camping. We didn't have no money for Boy Scouts. I didn't learn this in high school. I didn't learn this in college. But what I did learn is by going out there and doing this shit and realizing how to prepare my food. How to put my food up so the bear doesn't get it. How to pack my fucking bag. What is the difference between car camping versus ultra light camping equipment in, in the middle? And really understanding the difference of being self-efficient. It doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur, you should be self-efficient in your business. That's why I never borrow money from the fucking stinky bankers, dude. I don't need them to make me where I am. I don't need the big brother to bail me out. I, I, I got my share right here. I, I can take care of myself and my family, dude. Right? So the thing is, the more powerful you are, you, the more powerful American can be. The more weaker you are, the more weaker American can be. And if you are prepared and strong, and your family's prepared and strong, and your neighbor's prepared and strong, then we in America can help our families, our neighbors. But if you're fucking weak, you're weak emotionally, you're weak financially, you're weak because you don't have no water, guess what, you think you can help anybody else out? You can't help nobody else. You can't even fucking help your own self out, dude. And my point of the story is, help your fucking self. Don't wait for Big Brother to help you. Don't wait for the stinky bankers to help you. Don't wait for the cousin, the gas station to help you. Help yourself, prepare, man. Turn that fucking stupid TV off because you're spending all this money making these motherfuckers rich and you probably don't have a backup plan like I just showed you in case there's a hurricane, there's a disaster, there's an economic collapse, there's a fucking nuclear war. Who knows, man, what can happen? But if you think nothing's gonna happen, then you're a dumb motherfucker, dude. Shit is happening, and you better be prepared. Because if you think some big brother's gonna help you, the banker's gonna help you, 911 is gonna help you, then you're gonna be fucking shot, dude. If you like these videos, please like, please share. Please tell your friends and family about this. Let's get our American friends, family, neighbors prepared. Because if you're strong, your neighbor's strong, then we can help each other. And what makes American great is not Big Brother. What makes American great is the average people like me and you helping our neighbors out. That's what makes America great, guys. America is great because we all come together to help each other out. America is not great because we have the most powerful fucking bombs or the most fucking biggest military. No, dude. America is great because you help your brothers and sisters out. Like me helping you to be strong and you pass this message to your friends and family to make everybody strong because we do not live in a perfect bubble, dude. Shit can go down anytime and I want you to be strong so you can help out your neighbors. And if you're not strong and you're weak, you can't help even yourself out. Please share this video, like, comment, hustle and bustle. See you gang.